Happy Wednesday. I'm just gonna do this eye look for you real quick. I actually did it yesterday with this palette um, and then one more eye color that I have um, that is not unique. Um, I'm just gonna do it real quick for you guys. Going to get our taxes done today. That's, you know, always so thrilling. I'm sure you can all agree. Taxes is exciting. <laughs> so stoked. All right, I'm taking a shimmery pink shade that I have. Um, it's like sparkly for just all over my lid, okay? Just stippling it on. I'm not wasting any time with you guys today, I'm trying to hurry up because I'm in a rush. I have had the last two days off work and I don't know how I managed to literally get like nothing done around my house. I was gonna paint like this wall. We're painting it gray. I was gonna start on that. I've had so many things I wanted to do the last two days and I've just been really lazy. But I did go get my nails done and I'm a little like, I don't know, disappointed because I wasn't expecting them to be this. Okay, I'm so sorry you guys, I just got a phone call. Hey Becky, how are you doing? Uh, it's good to talk to you. Um, I just got a call from Zales. My rings are back in. I'm so excited because I'm missing two of my rings. Anyway, I wasn't expecting my nails to be, see that, that pink. It looked more like, almost like this color was what I was hoping for, but they do change colors. So when they get really cold, they're like a lot darker. And then when I warm up, then they get like really light. So that was pretty neat, but I was like, oh, well, at least it's Valentine's Day on Friday. So at least I kind of like have an excuse. But if you know me, I don't like, I'm not like a pink kind of person. Like obviously blue shirt, two blue rings on. I don't really do pink, but it's all right. It's Valentine's Day. So I guess people won't really mind seeing my bright pink nails. <laughs> okay, so that's the first color. Um, you can use the color that I have. I have our color Optimistic in the palette that I usually do all over my lid, but I just felt like doing this pink color. So that's Optimistic. It's, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. That's what the color looks like. It's really pretty. I just felt like doing pink on my lid today. Um, so I take first that first color and then I take Gingerly um it's like a transition color it's really pretty i use it like almost every day with a fluffy brush and kind of go in my crease and like blend it out so this is the eye look that i did yesterday that i had on when i was doing my eyebrow video for you guys um so i just figured there were still some of you on that poll that I made a couple days ago that wanted to see an eye look. So I just figured I'd make a quick video on how I do this look. Hey, babe. Okay. So I'm just blending it out my crease kind of up towards up onto my brow bone with this fluffy brush okay then I take a small little rounded brush that we have this isn't my unique brush but we have one just like it and I can't find it right now but unique has one just like this so usually I use that one but I couldn't find it today um it's just a really dense small brush and I take Fervent, okay, it's like a mauve purple shade. And you don't wanna do like a whole bunch on your brush because these colors are really pigmented. Um, so start with a little and then just keep adding. But you can literally hear our golden retriever crying, I'm so sorry. I think she's out of food. She's so fat. She like can't stop eating. And I enable her. I give her too much to eat. 
You probably hear her crying in there. Um, so I kind of like literally, I'm like stippling out to here to like where I want this darker shade to stop and then kind of like blending it, making it and putting it in my crease right here. Kind of like defining that crease. And I don't necessarily have like hooded, hooded eyes um, like some people, but I still try to go a little above where my actual crease is to like kind of make my eyelid look bigger. <laughs> So I'll do a little bit on the other side. Hopefully it's like not too shiny and you guys can like really see me today. Eventually I'm gonna make it where I have a lot better lighting and there won't be any issues. <laughs> and you guys will really be able to see me. But I just have to find the right space in our house because Right now I really don't know where to like try to record myself. This is kind of the best room that we have that I can do it in. Um, I did attach the link for this eyeshadow palette in a cart. Um, for you guys. So just click the link and you can see it on there. Um, these are kind of like fall colors almost, but I've been adding like more of the purple this week since it's like Valentine's week, you know, my husband and I don't really celebrate Valentine's day other than like, we're hopefully going to go out to eat together. We don't really get each other anything. Honestly, I am the worst gift giver on the face of the planet. Like I just really am. I am not a very creative person. I don't decorate the house. My husband has more thoughts on decorating our house than I do, so that tells you a lot. Like, we have moved, we moved to this house in August, and I haven't hung a single thing on the walls. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to decorate. I'm probably gonna post a picture soon of our fireplace for you guys to see, like asking for help on how, like what to do. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm the worst decorator on the face of the planet. I just, I don't know. It's not fun for me. I'm not good at it. I'm not creative or artsy or anything like that. Um, that's just kind of how I am, unfortunately. It sucks, but... Okay, so now I take my fluffy brush with more of that gingerly, that, like, warm brown color, and kind of, like, blend it, like, to the towards the edges of the, um, of the purpley shade Fervent kind of blend it out a little bit more and then I'm going to go back in um, with this darker purple uh, nonsensical so I'm not a pro at this you guys um, if you have eyeshadow tips for me you're more than welcome to share them because I learn as I go I watch other people um, I just I try to I try to do my best I just see all these beautiful colors and stuff. I want to try them and I just kind of go for it and wing it and um, learn from watching other people. And that's all you can really do sometimes. So if you're one of those, it's like, yeah, but I don't know how to use those colors or I don't know how um, to blend or I don't know what type of brushes to use and things like that. You can always message me because I'll help you to the best of my knowledge um, as far as this eyeshadow thing goes. But just like honestly get on YouTube too and like watch watch other people because there's plenty of people on YouTube that do tons of different videos about like eyeshadows and things and that's where I've learned a lot of it okay as just like and watching like especially with these palettes like I watch a lot of other unique presenters hey Caitlin um I watch a lot of other unique presenters as far as these palettes go and that helps me learn a lot too and like what which of these colors looks nice together because we have like I want to say 40 something different eyeshadow colors um so that honestly really really helps me learn like what colors look best together what the colors actually look like in person um so yeah just watching other people is the key honestly I think um and then just practicing it I practice a lot with these eyeshadows um that's what I found has helped me most 
Okay, so taking, I kind of mix these two a little bit together and then I'm going to blend it out under my eye because it kind of like connects the top and the bottom together, if you know what I mean. Like, it kind of blends it all together, I think. Makes it look nicer. So yeah, we're going to get our taxes done today. I'm a little scared because this is going to be the first year that I wasn't in school all year because it really helped us get money back and the fact that I was in school. And now that I'm out of school, I'm a little concerned <laughs> that we're not going to get near as much um, money back. So, Or it may be any at all. I really don't know. Well, we'll just have to see. We'll just find out. I don't know. I'm nervous. Because now that we both are full-time working, so we make more, I'm just... We're just both keeping our fingers crossed. Who else is ready for their taxes? I don't do my own taxes. Like, one of my very best friends, like, does her own taxes, and she's helped her parents do their taxes, and she's, like, you know, a genius. And I suck at it. And everybody's like, do H&R Block. Do, um, what's the other one? TurboTax. Like, and I've looked into those. And we just have, like, it's just, like, so detailed on there. It's just so much of a headache. I would rather go somewhere and pay somebody to do my taxes. <laughs> That's so much I can't stand it. Like, it takes, I mean, I love my tax guy. It takes him 30 minutes maybe sitting in there with him and he takes all my papers and throws it all together and says here's how much you may or may not be getting back it's going to take this much time I give my bank account number <laughs> if we get money back it goes in like I just like it oh my gosh I love having a tax guy so much better before I got married John and I did our taxes on it I think it was H&R Block and it was easy it was all right but like we didn't own a house, like I didn't own a car, anything, like it, it was simple. Like our lives were simple back then. <laughs> so it wasn't bad to do them, you know, back then. This is my highlighter, by the way. It's not an eyeshadow. You could, although I will show you, you could use an eyeshadow. Let me show you what um, optimistic in this palette looks like. Okay, I'll do that. Now I've already got highlighter on, but... It's like literally basically the same shade as my highlighter, so it's not gonna look much different. So you can do that, and I got a little bit too much down here. Um, and I'll do it under my brows. Okay. This is really easy. It's not too hard. It's just about blending and using a little bit at a time. Um, and I'm actually gonna take more of that pink and add it because I feel like I like knocked some of it off a little bit. Hey Courtney. I got Kanan's gift card today so I need to give it to you guys like this weekend or something. So I feel bad I haven't been out of the house in, like until today. So I haven't been able to go get him anything but I got him something so. Okay now I'm going to take my extra fluffy brush and just kind of like blend, especially over here in the corner. And that is all I do. And then we'll get your, sorry, that was really loud. I knocked it over. Your 4D Epic Mascara. I need to try to use the Epic Mascara in front of you guys too, because. Oh, and I forgot something. The Epic Mascara is good too. I just like like the 40 better. I always take eyeliner and do, which if this freaks you out, you don't have to do it. Because it took a while for me to be like comfortable putting the eyeliner under my eye right here. But it really helps like make your lashes look thicker. Sorry, I can't talk when I do that. But that really helps. I don't really do eyeliner on the top. I really don't do eyeliner at all anymore unless I like do that. Um, but it's super easy and once you get used to like, a lot of people don't like putting mascara on their top waterline like that, but.
and I'm really excited because I posted the other day, or maybe it was last week, Lange, the hair company that I buy like all my hair products through, had, I don't know, they may still be having the sale, but at least last week they were having a sale where you could get like four or five free items if you spent like 50 bucks or something, which is awesome because it's so easy to spend $50 there. So I've been waiting for that to come in the mail. And I am ready to show you guys what I got and what I use every day. My hair is not perfect. I don't even know how to do my hair. Like, I suck at curling it. All I ever do is straighten it. I don't know how to do braids or any fancy hair do's or anything like that. But I've just been trying to get my hair to grow out and be softer and stuff. And it feels so much better. So I'll share, I'll get to share those products with you guys soon, hopefully. So this is, for those of you just hopping on, our 4D Epic Mascara that is like the most amazing mascara I have tried. And I have tried quite a few mascaras. And I've tried some expensive mascaras. And this stuff is like gold. And then I'll put some on my bottom. I usually always put mascara on my bottom lashes too. And you guys, I'm so excited to share with you like the fact that I am on day shift now I started a day day shift schedule last week I got a new job and I've been so much more happier like my sleep schedule sucked on nights for those of you that do nights you probably totally understand or you love nights and you don't get it at all but I could not stand it like let alone just me getting to be able to sleep with John every night again now is just awesome like the fact that we get that time together every night before we go to sleep and I'm just a chicken like I don't like sleeping by myself to begin with so I just hated it and I hated the schedule. Like I'm tired all the time. Literally I started day shift last week and like I was two or three days into it and the night before I got an hour and a half of sleep. I did, couldn't fall asleep. I tried everything. That is not my, like my whole life I've been able to fall asleep. Like just like instantly when I go to bed, like I have never had a problem. Oh, see that my nails are lighter. Can you tell? Sorry. I just noticed that my hands must be warmer because my nails are a lot more pink now. Um, I've never had a problem with that. And last week I struggled hard and I couldn't get enough sleep. And so I'm so glad to be on day shift now. My heart is just so much happier where I'm at in life. I've been like really trying to reflect on myself and do things for me. And last night my husband and I decided we're going to go back to the gym. He goes a lot more than I do. Not maybe consistently, but like I'll go to the gym like one week straight for like three days and then I'll quit for like two months <laughs> and so we went last night and I felt really good about myself and I'm I can't go today but and I can't go tomorrow because I work tomorrow but I'm gonna go try to go all weekend I'm just gonna try to start making more time for the gym so I'm really excited for that too but anyway I'll get off my little soapbox and let you guys go but this is the eye look for today um it's really simple and like I said I linked my palette on here so you guys can see the colors that I used okay so just message me if you have any questions um yeah and I'd be happy to answer them for you guys thanks for watching have a good day